माई चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेट आई मोनिका राम चंदानी एंड इन दिस सीरीज सिंप्लीफाइंग एजेंट फोर्स दी एपिसोड टू इज अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द की कॉम्पोनेंस एंड रीजनिंग इंजन ऑफ एजेंट फोर्स इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू मास्टर एंड बी एन एक्सपर्ट ऑफ एजेंट फोर्स यू शुड लर्न एंड यू शुड नो ऑफ वट आर द की कॉम्पोनेंस ऑफ एजेंट फोर्स एंड ऑल्सो द ब्रेन बिहाइंड इट राइट आई एम गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू इट नाउ लेट्स गो वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट की कॉम्पोनेट इज रोल This is essentially the job title of the agent. It tells the agent what it is responsible for achieving, but it's not just a label. The role acts like a filter, which shapes the agent's priorities, what knowledge it can access, and what actions it should be ready to take. For example, a customer service agent might be focusing on uh, answering FAQs, answering some questions, sharing the order status, or maybe escalating you to a human agent. same as a billing specialist might handle tasks like explaining invoices generating invoices or solving some payment issues right now the second key component is knowledge an agent can't just guess its way through right it needs context it needs data and in agent force it has access to a broader knowledge base including sales force crm data the knowledge articles that we provide data cloud and also external sources and public data which is available online on the web now the third key component which is a very important component to do the task actually which is actions what the agent can do this is where things get exciting okay actions are what allows the agent to stop being reactive and do something which is actually useful these are predefined executable tasks which can be flows apex and external api calls as well and also we can use prompt template to get cross conversational responses we'll talk about it more in our demos now comes guard rails keeping the agent safe and trustworthy so when the topic comes ai the question arises right about hallucination about leakage of data about the data privacy and about getting the actual context aware answers guardrails comes to rescue think of it as the rules and safety barriers that keep your agent working but within boundary whether it's limiting the actions to non financial records or stopping the agent from answering any medical medical questions maybe guardrails does the job fifth key component is channels where the agents can actually operate so these agents aren't just stuck inside salesforce they can operate wherever your customers or internal teams are working including the public facing website your mobile app salesforce app slack or maybe service console which is inside salesforce right so we have a lot of channels in which we can integrate a uh, agent force and then your customers can walk you through in this series itself we'll integrate your agents on our experience cloud website as well as on slack so that you can see how internal users can use it and how external customers can use it now that was it for the key components The next topic that we are going to cover is the reasoning engine. That's the active brain of agent force. That actually gives the power to agent force to do some tasks, to do the actions, and to give us the output, right? Now we are going to talk about what the reasoning engine provides agent force to give it that power. Now the very first feature of reasoning engine that it provides to Salesforce agent force is multi-turn chat. For example, if the user says, "What's the weather like in Paris today?" the agent will reply it's currently 24 degrees celsius and sunny in paris right now if the agent says what about tomorrow agent says tomorrow in paris it's expected to be 22 and light showers users say should i pack an umbrella and agent says yes since there's a chance to rain tomorrow in paris packing an umbrella would be a good idea now this is called multi turn chat what is multi turn chat When user asks how about tomorrow the bot understand that the context is still weather in paris because the first question was weather in paris the bot agent force understands that the how about tomorrow is also about weather in paris when the user asks should i pack an umbrella the agent force agent reasons based on the previous message about the rain even though the user doesn't really mention weather or paris again or rain again to that matter right This is the power of multi-turn conversational reasoning, keeping the track of what we said earlier to give smarter context-aware responses. 
Now we are going to talk about topic, instructions and action. These are the three main components of reasoning engine which actually gives power to agent force. Now topic classification is important because that gives the agent a clear idea on which path to go when a customer asks something, right? So for example, in the previous uh, slide that we saw, the customer said what's the weather in Paris. Topic tells the user in which direction it should go to give context aware answers. For another example, if there is a specific topic about career guidance, instead of just general questions, when a customer asks, I'm a Salesforce admin from two years, now I want to be a developer. So the agent figure out that the customer wants career advice and go to the particular topic and search for the results. Now each topic has particular instructions which actually tells agents what to do. So topic decides in which uh, direction the agent will go and instruction will decide in which way the agent will answer or which action the agent should pick. Instructions are also used, heavily used to train the model. So agent force agent is also a bot, right? It is there to help us, but we are the human and we have to train them. For training them, we'll use instructions. In instruction, you can tell when a customer say this, do this. Never, for example, you will say, never share confidential information to the customer's ID to someone. Uh, always verify the customer once always verify the customer before giving any sensitive data these are the instructions that we will provide uh, to train our agents right and then comes the action which on the other hand let the agent perform something fetching or looking for customer data for example if customer says uh, I want to know my order status a topic should be maybe order inquiries then instruction should be First, that always verify the customer before asking for order information. And the instruction will be uh, ask the order number for the customer if the customer asks for order status. Then the action should be once the customer provides the uh, order number, go to this action. Action will be get status, which can be an Apex class, which can be a flow, which is getting the order status for you and then giving it to the agent and then agent can show it in the con conversation right there can be another instruction as well that whatever output you're getting from get status action show it in the conversation so that can be instruction too so this is how multi-turn chart topic instruction and actions work through to let the agent be that intelligent to let the agent give you the exact context aware answers now we'll talk about how an agent takes action. These are the four points in which symmetrically agent takes action. Number one is agent first receives a trigger, which can be a conversation with an employee or customer or a change of data or any automation. So for example, when I say, I want to know my order status, that's a trigger from the customer's conversation that agents have to search something. Second, the agent uses the LLM and natural language descriptions to identify the context and selects a topic. So with the LLM that the agent uses, they will identify from the customer's uh, text of give me my order status, they will identify which action to choose and in which topic they need to go. Then depending on the task, an agent selects and changes the action. Those actions are executed via flows, APIs, uh, Apex classes or prompts, right? Then agent dynamically plan and execute the task which strictly follow the predefined guardrails. So whatever guardrails we have provided, agent will be within that doing all the tasks. So this is how actually an agent takes action. Now let me show you a small demo of how agent decides what action to take, what topics to take and I'll show you how the agent reasoning engine works. Let's dive straight into our org and see the demo. Okay, I'm in my Salesforce org and this is the support agent I have created. I have also added it in the website, but uh, because I want to show you how the reasoning engine work, how it selects the topic and the actions, uh, we'll go to the agent builder and see that in action. Let's go here. So now you see here, right? These are the topics that I have created. These are the topics that I have created. Now, if I go in any of the topic, we have these classification description scope, which actually tells the user, tells the agent when to choose this topic, 
Then we have these instructions. You see how many instructions I have added and just read out the instructions for once. First instruction is acknowledge and validate the user's concern with empathy. Then uh, you can read this, which is calling in action instruction, which says always use action search account one to fetch account details and show it in the conversation. That's also an instruction. So all of these instructions are actually being used to train the agent, right? Uh, this you can see display shipping address as a capsule that is for designing purpose then do not ask any random yes no questions because sometimes agent can hallucinate and create data on its own create questions on its own to stop that to add a guide rail we are adding do not ask any random questions then we have if customer wants to update their shipping address tell them this will not reflect in any of their previous orders so i'm just adding here as a note that whenever customer wants to update their account shipping address just add a reminder that it will not reflect in any of your orders which helps customers decide if they still want to you know update their shipping address or no these instructions are just basically there to guide the agent how to react right uh, one more you can see is never ask account name or phone number before customer is verified never ask any detail for account search before you have verified the customer so these are for making sure that the customer is verified that the customer is a valid customer when they provide the account detail right someone random is not coming in trying my chatbot out correct so these are the instructions which we use to train the uh, agent and then i'll show you the actions okay now the actions can be apex flows apis or prompt as well here i'm using one standard action and then we have four or five flows these are all the flows now these flows will be called when this topic instruction matches with the topics action so that is how we provide topic instructions and action to actually tell the user give the actual context to the brain of the agent that this is what we need to do this is what your task is your job is right now uh let's just close this in this panel you will see the reasoning engine you will see how the agent reacts to a particular question uh, let me show you let's say I want to return an order okay when I say this you will see something happening here which is when the agent tries to understand with the LLM and chooses the topic so this is the prompt now the reasoning of this prompt is this which I have given already after this reasoning it selects the topic which is order inquiries because this was related to order it goes to order in inquiries topic okay now in order inquiry topic this is the description that we have provided which is your job is to verify the customer and then help the customer solve their queries okay this is why it has asked sure I can help you with that but then first I'll need to verify your email address could you please provide that because the scope said that you can only do order inquiries when the customer is verified okay now 31 instructions i have provided that's a lot for an agent 31 instructions i have provided for this topic then we have seven actions as well for this topic once we verify the data it goes to other instructions it see what topic it has to select from and then it gives us the result so for now the reasoning action is this and then the grounded response is this sure i can help with that but please provide me your email address because i have provided you can only do anything with orders once the customer is verified right now let's provide my email address which is a valid email address in one of the accounts this now you'll see this refreshing again it says please enter the verification code so now i have added the code which is in the standard functionality as well to send a verification code to the email okay now let's see here i provided user prompt is the email topic selected again order inquiries because it is relevant to the order inquiry because of the multi-turn conversation it understands that it is still in the order inquiry section then in order inquiries i have an action which is send verification code to the customer it selects that action sends the customer id and gets the output if there was no customer it will say there's no customer found but because we have sent a message it says this message 
also with a verification code okay now it will wait for me to add the verification code if the verification is right it will go ahead if the verification is wrong it will not go ahead so that is how topic instruction actions and the reasoning engine the multi turn conversational feature works in the reasoning engine in the brain of agent force which helps agent force actually decide and take some action so whatever you see agent force is doing actually the reasoning engine and all of these components of the reasoning engine is doing so this is all i wanted to show in this example of this episode i hope you have found this episode useful i hope you have understand how the key components how the reasoning engine works together combine make the agent force happen and make the agent force do some actual action actual stuff right this is it for this episode i hope you found this useful i'll see you in the other one till then bye bye take care and keep learning